Welcome back. The Whoppity and the Moose. Written by D. Bruce Banwell for the NZDA. Number 17 of the 400 Club. D. Britchand. Eglinton Valley, 1924. This one's a lopsided one. Six by nine. Uh, lengths though reasonably even 54 and 6 eighths on the left 55 and 4 eighths on the right spread was 44 and 6 inch and 6 eighths span 38 and 1 eighths um, all the lower stuffs there Royal Tyne both sides of course first off back on both sides second off back on the right back Tyne it's pretty hearty here. 27 and 6 eighths on the left and 26 and 4 eighths on the right. And then a couple of bonus points of a 3 inch snag on the brow on the right and a 2 and 4 eighths snag on the royal. Total of 427 and 5 eighths. These are, are written, or a, a photograph of, of the written score there. I suppose in uh, Bamwell's writing. Anyway, Red Deer and the Matapodi herd had swum Lake Tianau to gain access to the fjord and hinterland since around 1918, including what was to become known as the Wapiti Country. During an NZDA conference held at Tianau during 1951, Geoffrey Orbell treated some of the delegates attending to, a, to an excursion on the lake. While off the middle fjord, a young red deer stag was encountered swimming and an attempt was made to lasso him, but without success. It is now an accepted fact that red deer have been crossing the lake since around 1918 to 1920, and this is confirmed by recorded sightings on the western side. This Wapiti bull, the only one ever reported on the eastern side of the lake, obviously arrived there the very same way, but in reverse. Two Dunedin sportsmen were stalking the area between Boyd's and Walker's Creeks when they saw what they first took to be an exceptionally large red stag. The inverted commas stag was about 400 metres away chasing a spiker, but returned to about 200 metres exposing his shoulder and allowing Brett Hand to bring him down. <laughs> How about that? Not even in the Wapiti area. And you finish up with... A number 17 stag, sorry, bull, 427 and 5 eighths inches. What a story. <laughs> Bloody kill. So uh, next we're back over the over the lake. We're going to the Worsley Valley, 1954 for number 18. It was shot by Keith Purden. Make sure you join us on the Stag Roars 400 Club. Make sure you're subscribed or following so you're keeping up to date. Of course, we're chucking these out on Whoppity Wednesday and then on Sunday. Um, and if you've been enjoying these, be sure to check in with me at Stag Ryan or at Ryan O'Connor NZ on Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the 400 Club. Now, this is from New Zealand Big Game Record Series, Volume 2. It's called The Wapiti and the Moose. Uh, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association Incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. And we're able to do this with permission from the Helicon Press, a division of Helicon Publishing Limited. And um, this was copyrighted in 2001, D. Bruce Banwell. First published, 2001. All rights reserved, and they've given us permission to do this little series, The 400 Club.